This is a very sad time for the beauty community and YouTube. This is something that needs to not be ignored. We need to address this, and we need to address this aggressively. Hi everybody, welcome back to another chat spat. This chat spat is not going to be a positive one, but this is going to be a very, very important chat spat. So I hope that you all stay to the end, listen to everything that I have to say to you guys, try to keep an open mind and not be offended. Things need to be said and you guys know I'll say them. So I'm not sure if a lot of you know or not, but on April 2nd, Taylor committed suicide. She is a transgender person. She was also a member of the beauty community here on YouTube. I think what gets me the most about the situation at its time is I hadn't even heard about it myself until yesterday, which was the 10th, I believe. Um, it's No one's really talking about it. There are a couple movements on YouTube for it, but not from beauty channels. And I'm a little upset and disappointed that no one's talking about this, that no one is demanding answers and no one is sticking up for their fellow beauty gurus. You know, no one is coming together with this, so that is the point of my video. I want us to all come together. I think that we should not let this go. This should not be something that is forgotten. This affects us all. If you are in the beauty community, this affects you. This girl was 16 years old. 16 years old. And she committed suicide. She was bullied in her school. She had to wear headphones just to make it through school because of all the shit that she went through while she was in school. And then not only that, she was bullied online in the beauty community, on YouTube. She was bullied for trying to reach out, trying to help others, and trying to be who she was born to be. Now, I'm not gonna get into a debate with any of you about transgender or the lesbian and gay and all of that community. I'm just, I'm not going to. I am not a judgmental person. I don't judge anybody on the way that they live as long as they are not harming me or anybody that I love. Pretty much I feel that the gay and lesbian community kind of got a little bit of room, a little bit of rights, and I feel like the transgender part of that community has been left behind. There is still a huge stigma on transgender people and whether they are just mentally ill or they were born that way, and I strongly feel like they were born that way. I mean, could you imagine being a man and feeling like a man inside and looking down and you have a vagina? or being a woman and loving everything that has to do with being a girl and a woman and beauty and makeup and you know inside of yourself that you are female but you look down and you have a penis. And you knew these things since you were two years old, since before you could even comprehend what a transgender person was. Now whether that is a mutation from the parents genetic lines or genes or whatever, I don't care. The point is that transgender people, in my opinion, do not have a choice to be how they are. Which brings me back to Taylor. She started a YouTube channel. I've watched her videos. Amazing personality. She reached out so many times. So many times she tried to reach out for help. She tried to help others that were on YouTube, other viewers that were watching her. You know, there were so many signs and everybody ignored them. There was so much hate under her videos. And you guys wonder why I get on here and I rant and I rave and I bitch and I whine about the trolling and the hate and the cyber bullying and the harassment. This is proof alone that it does cause people to actually commit suicide. It does cause real pain in real people's personal lives. And the fact that a life was taken in the beauty community, she was part of our community. It breaks my heart to know that everybody isn't making a video about this. Everybody isn't contacting YouTube saying you need to implement different rules to protect people more. If someone writes a hateful comment or a bullying comment or harassing comment, YouTube needs to completely block their IP address. Completely. I don't care how much more work it is for YouTube. That needs to happen. People need to be protected more. 
And I know that they're going to say, or a lot of you are going to say, well, they can just get on a different IP address. You know, it'll, it'll just continue, continue. A lot of these people that are leaving these hate comments, leaving these trolling comments, are children. They are children. If they know that their IP address and their home is threatened, they are not going to fuck around. Their parents are not going to keep buying different Wi-Fi's and different internet IP addresses to allow their children to be bullying assholes. And a lot of adults, they just don't have the money to keep changing up their Wi-Fi and keep changing up their IP addresses. It's just not going to happen. At some point, they are going to stop. Something like that would decrease the amount of bad comments by a lot, by so much. But there's no movements being made. How many people have to commit suicide because of the hate that is online or the hate that is in school before people actually take notice, before people actually do something about it. Taylor reached out to her counselors in her school and it still happened. Nothing was done to protect her. Nothing. And that makes me so, so mad. And now, after it all, no one is standing up to stick up for her and be her voice now that she is gone. No one on YouTube, on the internet, no one is standing up. I've seen maybe, maybe three channels that are talking about some kind of movement or her situation. And I feel like that's, they're morally making those videos because if you look them up, you'll see. I think they're morally making them for views. They're hoping that her story will blow up and they want views. That is not what I want. I want each and every single one of you. I don't care if you have a YouTube channel. You have to have some kind of social media, Facebook, Instagram. I don't care. Her face needs to be plastered everywhere. Her story needs to be heard. She deserves that much for being ignored, for not being protected. I really want to start a movement, and I hope that a lot of you hear me. This is serious. This is a serious matter. This bullying, this hate, this trolling comments, what it's doing to young kids. It's not right. It needs to be heard. We need to do something. So whether you have any kind of social media, get her name out there. Put her story out there. There needs to be an anti-bullying something happening, especially within the beauty community, because this was a member of our community. If we couldn't give it to her while she was alive, we can at least try now that she's gone. I just wanted to say how sorry I am to any of her friends and her family, and I can't even imagine what you guys must be going through right now, and it breaks my heart because when I see something like this, I automatically think of my daughter. My daughter is bullied in school every single day. She's eight years old, you guys. She's eight. She's in third grade. It's to the point where she doesn't even want to go to school anymore. I don't ever remember not wanting to go to school in third grade. In third grade, I couldn't wait to go. I got up every day. I tried to go when I had a horrible flu. I was throwing up. I had 103 temperature and I still wanted to go to school. My daughter doesn't want to anymore. She completely hates it because she is bullied every single day. So when I see a story like this, I automatically put my daughter in that situation and any parent knows what I'm talking about. If this were to happen to my daughter, I, don't, I can't even think about it, you guys. I can't even think or imagine. Mm -mm. I don't want Taylor to just be somebody, another person on that block that's forgotten for her pain and her hurt and what she went through. I don't, I don't want it to be this hopeless battle against bullies and hate and trolls. I want something to be done about it. I want people to hear us. I want people to take notice of what our issues are. I want YouTube to take notice of what is going on and how bad this situation really is. So again, I ask you guys and I plead that you get her story out there. You make a video, you make a Facebook post, you make an Instagram post. I don't care what it is, but we cannot allow this girl to be forgotten. We cannot allow her pain to be for nothing. Whether you guys know it or not, when we all band together, we have a lot more power than you think we do. When you can get thousands upon thousands of people going for one cause, you can see by history what that does. We can change the world. We can change YouTube. We can change the beauty community. I've bitched about this for months. You need to know that we do have power here. You have the power. You need to think about it like this. What if it was your daughter? What if it was your best friend? 
What if it was your daughter's best friend? What if it was your niece? What if it was your nephew? You know, like, just think about it. So that is what I want to talk about today in Chaspat. I want to talk about Taylor. I want to talk about ways to get this out there. Ways that we can make some kind of movement into doing something so this girl is not forgotten. So hate and bullying and the trolling on YouTube can stop or at least be decreased by some amount. This is getting really, really bad. The beauty community is supposed to be about making yourself beautiful, being who you are individually as a person. It's not about being drilled on and bullied to the point to where you commit suicide. I just wish so badly that Taylor would have found mine and Dawn's group, Beauty and Beyond, on Facebook before she did this. We would have welcomed her with open arms. We have transgender in our group and we love them for who they are. We would have loved her for who she was. She would have had a huge support system. We would have been there for her. It just really breaks my heart. My heart is breaking for her and her family and this cause. So I hope this made sense to you guys. Please leave your comments down below. I'd really like to know if any of you have any kind of ideas on what we can do for this. I really want this girl's story to be heard. So if you have a YouTube channel, make a video. Make that video. If you have any other kind of social media, post about it. Put her picture out there. Put her story out there. Let's be Taylor's voice. Let's let YouTube know that the beauty community is not going to stand for this anymore. So that is my video. I hope you guys really listened and really heard what I'm trying to say. And you'll take part in this because I believe we can actually do something if we all come together. There's a lot more of us than you think there is. And we do have a lot more power than you think we do. Bye guys.